this day. May my right hand forget her cunning, and may my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. Okay. May my right hand forget her cunning, and may my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. To forget them, to pass lightly over their wrongs, and to chime in with the popular theme, would be treason most scandalous and shocking, and would make me a reproach before God and the world. My subject, then, fellow citizens, is American slavery. I shall see this day and its popular characteristics from the slave's point of view. Standing there identified with the American bondman, making his wrongs mine, I do not hesitate to do... Making his wrongs mine, I do not hesitate to declare with all my soul that the character and conduct of this nation never looked blacker to me than on this 4th of July. Whether we turn to the declarations of the past or to the professions of the present, the conduct of the nation seems equally hideous and revolting. America is false to the past, false to the present, and solemn and solemnly that's solemnly okay and solemnly binds herself to be false to the future standing with god and the crushed and bleeding slave on this occasion i will in the name of humanity which is outraged in the name of liberty which is fettered in the name of the okay In, in, okay. And I'll just, if you want me to go a little earlier. Yeah, one more back. Uh huh. I'd outrage would be great. In the name of liberty, which is fettered, in the name of the Constitution and the Bible, which are disregarded and trampled upon, dare to call in question and to denounce with all the emphasis I can command everything that serves to perpetuate slavery, the great sin and shame of America, I will not equivocate, I will not excuse, I will use the severest language I can command, and yet not one word shall escape me that any man whose judgment is not blinded by prejudice, or who is not at heart a slaveholder, shall not confess to be right and just. But I fancy I hear some of my audience say, is it just in this circumstance that you and your brother abolitionists fail to make a favorable impression on the public mind? Yep, my bad. Huh? It, it is just. Huh? It is just. Okay, one more time. It is just in this circumstance, one more time, sorry. It is, oh, I'm so sorry. It is just in this circumstance that you and your brother abolitionists fail to make a favorable impression on the public mind. Would you argue more and denounce less? Would you persuade more and rebuke less? Your case would be much more likely to succeed. Your cause. Hmm? Sorry. For the present, it is enough to affirm the equal manhood of the Negro race. It is not astonishing that, while we are plowing, 